Hello everyone, Ramya, Assistant Professor of CSC Department from Rogani College of Engineering and Technology. Subject code OEC754, Unit 2, Topic Blood Cell Counters. Objective to learn about the concepts of blood cell counters and then methods of cell counting. Here the, the changes in the normal functioning of an organism are often accompanied by changes in the blood cell count. Then the blood constitutes 5 to 10 percentage of the total body weight and, and it contains an average adult. It amounts to 5 to 6 liters. Here it consists of corpuscles suspended in a fluid called plasma. In a proportion of 45 parts of corpuscles to 55 parts of plasma. Here the blood cells are divided into groups according to their form and functions as shown in the table. First we are going to see the red blood cells. It have the form of a biconcave disc with a mean diameter of about 7.5 mu and the thickness of about 1.7 mu. The next one is black, white blood cells. Here it is in a spherical cells it have a muscles and there are normally 500 to 10,000 white cells per cubic millimeter of blood but their number of varies during the day. Next one is platelets. Here the platelets are usually tiny, round, oblong or irregularly shaped cells of the blood with an average diameter of approximately 2 mu. And then next we are going to see the different calculation of size of cells. First one is mean cell volume. It is calculated from the PCV and the number of red cells present per liter of blood. For example, here we consider if PCV is 0.45, that is 1 liter of blood contains 0.45 liters of red cells. And if there are 5 into 10 per 12 red blood cells per liter then you will get mean volume of the cell equal to 0.45 divided by 5 into 10 power 12 equal to 98F divided by 1. So the normal mean rate volume is 86 plus or minus 10F divided by 1. And the next one is mean cell hemoglobin. It is calculated from the Hb and red cell count. For example, here also you are going to consider 15 gram of Hb per deciliter of blood. Then there will be 150 gram Hb per liter of blood. And the number of red cells is 5 into 10 per 12 per liter. Then you have MCH equal to 15 divided by 5 into 10 per 12. So it is called as a 30 picogram. Here also you have the normal mean value hemoglobin is 29.5 plus or minus 2.5 pg. Next we are going to see the mean cell hemoglobin concentration that means it can be calculated if pcv and hb per dl are known for example here also you are going to consider if pcv is 0.45 and hb is 15 pg per dl means here also it contains mchc equal to 15 divided by 0.45 g per dl and the next one is you are going to calculate the mean platelet volume that means it is the ratio of the integrated platelet volume to the platelet count and is expressed in femoliters and the next we are going to see the platelets grid that means it is the percentage of the total specimen volume occupied by the platelets and the next one is red cell distribution width it is a numerical expression of the width of the size distribution of red cells and the next one is platelet distribution width here the index is related to the size range covered by those platelets lying between the 16th and 84 percentile and then next we are going to see some methods of cell counting first one is microscopic method in this method we have the most common and routinely applied method of counting blood cells even today particularly in small laboratories is the microscopic method in which the diluted sample is visually examined and the cells counted. Then next one is automatic optical method. Here in this method is based on collecting scattered light from the blood cells and it is converting it into electrical pulses for counting. So here we have some optical system provides a dark field illuminator shown on the screen. Next one is counter counters that means a wide range of particle counting instruments based on the uh, counter principle that means it have been designed to meet a wide variety of needs in the hematology laboratory that means here the results in the generation of a voltage pulse it is amplified in a pre-amplifier of high gain and no 
noise level and also you have that the output signal of this stage goes to a discriminator which compares the amplitude of the pulse arriving at its input with preset triggering level here also you have some input signal exceeds the triggering level that means the discriminator gives out a pulse of constant shape and amplitude and the next one is a laser based cell counting it is used to determine the number of rbc white bc and platelets in, in this diagram it shows the principle used in this laser based blood cell counting it is the angle of scattered light it is different for different sized blood cells that means here the lying agent is used to destroy the rbc and the wbc number can be determined here also the chemoglobin concentration in the rbc also can be measured by this method thank you